Hi, my name is Don Flayton. I am a professor at the University of Manitoba. Just like humans, other animals, and all other living organisms, plants require certain nutrients to grow and function properly. In total, there are at least 17 nutrients that are essential for plant growth. Plants acquire three of these nutrients, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, from the atmosphere and water. These three nutrients are therefore regarded as non-mineral nutrients. However, the other 14 nutrients, for example, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur, are derived mostly from soil and are therefore regarded as mineral nutrients. Another way of classifying nutrients is by the amount of nutrient that is required by the plant. Nutrients that are required in large amounts, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, are classified as macronutrients. Others, such as copper, zinc, manganese, and iron, are classified as micronutrients because they are needed in relatively small amounts. And in between these two groups are the so-called secondary nutrients, including sulfur, magnesium, and calcium, which form a special group of macronutrients that are not as frequently limiting to plant growth as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Nevertheless, no matter where a nutrient comes from or how much nutrient is required by a plant, all of these nutrients are essential for plant growth. So how do plants acquire these nutrients? As mentioned previously, plants use their roots to absorb the bulk of these nutrients directly from the soil, usually with the nutrients in the form of positively charged cations, such as ammonium, nitrogen, or potassium ions, or negatively charged anions, such as phosphate or sulfate ions. These are located in the water around the soil particles. One important exception is nitrogen, which can be acquired from the atmosphere by some plants, such as legumes, peas, beans, and alfalfa, for example, that live in association with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Overall, it's important to remember that maintaining a balanced supply of all the essential nutrients in our soil is critical for the sustainability of our food supply.